Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Monday, August 27th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Daily energy for Monday, August 27th. Beginning to realize the truth of a situation. Perhaps you guys are, this is a card, five of coins reverse. It's like um, coming out of the darkness, okay? It's like seeing the light in a situation or it's the end of a difficult time, really. It's the end of feeling so insecure. And I also feel, as I was shuffling, I was thinking it's a day of attention, attention. So, I don't know where that's coming from, but it's like you may be giving people a lot of attention or receiving a lot of attention from others. I have to say it. When it comes in like that, I have to let you know. Um, this is a lack of faith, though. A lack of believing in oneself or not listening to your inner guide. This is a decision has been made. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower... Hmm. moving forward yeah mastering your emotions somebody is finding the strength to move on to put themselves back together to pick up the pace I have made the decision that right now I am only going to focus on the future Somebody is seeing something through a new perspective. Getting their life back on track. I am. I'm getting my life back on track. It's like the, it's the scales. This is the scales are being balanced out. After a lack of faith. After a, la after a lack of believing in oneself. I'm cutting out the bullshit. I am cutting out the bullshit. That's the truth. That's so funny. Um, yeah, fresh start, new beginning. Taking a risk, replacing fear with faith. Okay, so both of these cards, replacing fear with faith, where the faith had been lost. I'm taking the lead to get my life back on track, to bring victory and success to my life. You are probably getting a lot of attention because this is a this is a high vibration. When you feel confident, everybody can see it. So I feel like it is a day of high confidence where somebody has made a decision to to have a fresh start, you know, to have a new beginning. To take the next step. Yes. Somebody is. Somebody is taking the steps that they need to take to bring victory and success to their lives. Okay. I am uh, doing what's right for me. I'm doing what's right for me. I feel as though this is a day of, of definitely moving on. You know, finding that willpower. These are both cards of strength. A lot of mental strength going on. It's time for this transformation. I know it's time for this transformation. I know that I haven't been listening to my intuition and my inner guide. And that hasn't been serving me. So I know that it's time to have faith that has been lost for quite some time. I feel like somebody has made the decision to... 
to let something end and a new beginning start. Things have been chaotic. Things have been a little disorganized. And now somebody is deciding to bring bring balance back to their lives. I, it's time. It's time for me to just to, you know, stop, stop um, letting these insecurities hold me back. Somebody is absolutely waking up, going through an awakening of some sort. Um, but it's almost like blind faith. You know, I am going to to move forward with faith. And and because you you start to believe and you start to have more confidence, that's what you project out. And then when you project that out, people see your attractiveness because I see attractiveness here you are probably going to attract in more positive energy than you have been in a while. Anyway, whatever is happening is 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 more of a peaceful feeling than it has been in quite a while. Uh, more balanced than usual. Because a decision has been made. I'm, I'm letting go of the confusion. I'm letting go of the indecisiveness. That's what I see. It's like I'm ready for this fresh new start. After a period of loss of self, I think that that period of loss of self is being released, okay, for some of you. It's like a new day, you know, you wake and what is it? It's the day after the full moon, you know, it is, it's like a brand new day. It's a day of, of definitely attraction these are both days of these are both days these are, these are both cards of attraction you could be attracting somebody into your life um very quickly it's a day of transformation i mean this is a transformation card as well where things things it's like it's like a switch has been flipped from off to on the, the light has now been turned on. So, yeah, I feel like today is a day where somebody heads in a brand new direction with, with faith. And it's, a, and it's a good direction. It's like, you know what, even if it's scary, I'm going to keep going. I, I am. I'm going to keep going. So let me just get a few more cards. You could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Taurus, could be any sign, I'm just saying, somebody is, is bringing balance back to their lives because they are taking the lead, they are putting themselves first, seeing things through a new perspective, it's like you wake up in the morning and it's like, boom, I'm ready. Letting go of the power struggles. I'm not going to put in effort. I'm not going to hang on to, I'm not going to put in effort, I'm not going to work on or put energy into not believing in myself. I'm not going to allow myself to be confused anymore. I'm giving up on that. Because I see that somebody has found the strength to not allow negative thoughts and negative energy 
and lack of faith hold them back. I'm letting that go. I mean, this lack of faith is being let go. I'm not going to give this negative drama my energy anymore. I have the confidence and the willpower to overcome it. Yeah, somebody is thinking positive. There's positive thinking here. Somebody is deciding to remain focused on the future, the positive future. Now, this could also signify um, a new approach, and that's what this is. This is a new approach. Somebody is taking a new approach to bring success to their lives after a serious repression. I'm letting go of those negative thoughts and I'm, I'm replacing them with positive thoughts. That's what this is. Somebody had been resisting this change for quite some time. Obsessed. Obsessed. With holding on to something that was tangible. You know, holding on to something that you could touch, but wasn't really fulfilling. And now there's an opportunity for a union, a partnership, because somebody is thinking positive. So with the Two of Cups, there's a, an attraction here. Somebody is attracting in somebody new. There's attraction, there is. Like I said about earlier, attention. I feel like, you know, because when you think positive, your vibration raises and it calls people into your circle. So I feel like because somebody has changed their perspective, it's like they're calling in their soulmate. Somebody that is well suited for them. And there could be somebody, there's a new opportunity that comes into your life. If you are single, this person could see your vibration instantly. Oh, because there's like, there's an instant shift. You're vibrating very highly and somebody's going to see the attractiveness. I see a lot of attraction here where, you know, somebody it may, you know, want to partner up with you. <laughs> Anyway, I feel as though, you know, there's a new exciting opportunity or an invitation coming in that could lead to a partnership um, because you are, these are for people, this message is for people that have changed their perspective, are thinking positive and have replaced fear with faith and are, have made the decision to start over, have made the decision to have a new beginning and have let go of the power struggles, have decided to let go of the conflicts that have been going on in their head, have decided to give up on that, have de de decided to give up on the confusion and the illusion and the, the false, fake um, connection. Somebody was hanging on to something that was a complete illusion. And now I think that they've come to their senses and they have, you know, They've woken up. There's been like an awakening here. And and when you wake up in that in the morning and you feel this confident and you and you are vibrating at this higher level, it's like you're calling in your soulmate. You're calling in somebody that that is well suited for you. There's definitely an exciting new opportunity because somebody takes steps. They're taking steps in a new direction. And you know, when you take steps in the new direction, the universe will bring you options. They will bring you new opportunities. And that's what this is. I mean, we have these twos. Two, two, two. Twos are about faith and trust. They're about choices. They're about beginnings of foundations. They're about partnerships. They're, they're about a soulmate connection. So I feel like there's a soulmate connection coming into your life because you have taken steps to move on from negative, from a negative thinking, 
a negative situation. You've taken steps to restore balance. You've taken steps to put yourself first, to see the light, to step out of the darkness. Now there's an opportunity for love, for partnership with somebody that you are compatible with. This is a better suitor. I think that this is a day of, of mastering your emotions and replacing them with, with faith. After a time of repression and loss of self, which is, is the same thing, but some people don't know what it means. So anyway, I feel as though today is a day of, of strength. It is and vibrancy and attraction you are probably going to get a lot of attention today if this reading is for you if you have decided to you know let the let yourself be light instead of darkness then you can expect to get a lot of attention today And for those of you that have somebody, a new opportunity coming into your life, this person is, is very balanced. This person will um, put in the equal amount of effort. You know, it will be an equal opportunity rather than one-sided. I feel like somebody has been reluctant to let go of something that they were committed to for quite some time and today is the day where perhaps or yesterday or whatever recently they decide to make that decision to let go some of you have not some of you are still in a false commitment that isn't going anywhere but you're still obsessed with it and you're still holding on to it and you need to master your emotions and move on. For those of you that are still in denial. But whatever. I'm not even going to go down that road. I mean, we don't have all day. But there's an exciting new opportunity here for those of you that have found your confidence, your courage, your strength, your willpower, and your discipline to put your, put your life back on track. Somebody, this reading is for somebody who is, has decided to move on. And it's happening quickly. And the, the, the vibration that you are putting out is high. So anyway, I think there's an exciting new opportunity for for a partnership for those of you that have replaced fear with faith and stepped out of this repression. Those of you that have taken the lead and put yourself in the driver's seat, there's an opportunity for a new partnership. For those of you that are in a coupled relationship, you know, I feel as though Somebody's giving up, not putting in effort, making the decision to give up and, and, and have a, a new beginning elsewhere, a divorce. I mean, I'm sorry. I want balance in my life. I have to do what's right for me. I have to remove myself from this insecure situation. I'm sorry. That's what this is. For those of you that are single, there's a new exciting opportunity. Some of you are still obsessed. I see. I see. I mean, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Some of you are mastering your emotions and getting the hell out of this situation. Some of you are not. For those of you that are, there's an exciting opportunity for love. With somebody that is well suited for you, for somebody with somebody that is positive. Somebody may be able to burst right into your world because you're vibrating at a higher level. 
for those of you that are ready for it, you're open for it, and you're not repressed, for those of you that are in denial and not, and not listening to your intuition and not having faith, you know, you're, you're going to have to... Uh, Stop lying to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. The moon. I mean, come on now. Deceiving yourself and trying to escape reality is only going to make things worse. Some of you have decided to give up on fantasy. Some of you have not. Some of you have decided to, to give up, decided to give up on deception. Some of you have decided to give up on lies and confusion. Some of you have not. For those of you that have, there's an exciting opportunity for love here. Decided to give up on fantasy, lies, deception, escaping reality. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with somebody that is better suited for you. A new opportunity. Your love life is about to ascend, period. If you master your emotions and you figure out what the hell you're worth. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart. Don't let the negative, the past hold you back. Let the universe know you're ready. Tell the universe you're ready and they'll come. Prove it. Somebody else got this card. Infinite abundance. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. The creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall into your life. Life goes in circles. There are times when fields lay fallow and there are also times of harvest. Right now you are moving forward or toward a harvest time to receive an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. However, you must first know that you deserve it. Money. And you do. There are times on this journey when life is fallow, but in the times of harvest, the sacred traveler shares the bounty and even volunteers to help others bring in their crops. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have, for the more you truly give, the more you receive. It's the universal law. As you focus on gratitude for all what you, what you already have, your abundance will grow leaps and bounds. 
And it is. It is a day of abundance. It's like, you know what? It's where the ne it's like a shift from negative to positive. That's what this is. And when you are positive, the universe will bring you in more. So yeah, that's what today is about. Today is a day of receiving what you deserve. So anyway, this is what I have. There is an opportunity for, for love here for those of you that want it. For those of you that are still obsessed, you have to replace fear with faith. You have to master your emotions and you have to move on. Talk to you later.